Okay, this is our story for today. It's a little Mercer Mayer story, and it's called It's Earth Day. When my children were little, they loved little critter stories. A little critter story. So. so look, there's the children at school, and there's her teacher. Today we learned all about Earth Day. That's what we're doing at our school. It's a special day. It's a day when we celebrate our planet. So remember, we live on the planet called Earth. We have to take care of our planet. We watched a movie about the Earth's climate. That means about the Earth's weather. Climate is how hot or cold it usually is outside. Did you know the Earth is getting hotter and the ice at the North Pole is melting? That's where the polar bears live. Yikes, I have to help slow down the melting. Dad, I asked, what can we do to stop the ice from melting? Let's find out, he said. It turns out that energy we use doing everyday things like driving cars and watching uh, videos and screens is making the earth warmer. We have to save energy, I said. I turned off the computer and all the lights as fast as I could to save energy. Be careful, Dad, I said. So it's okay to turn off lights when you're not in a room, but don't turn off lights if somebody's still in there, because then it's not safe. Look, poor dad tripped, because he turned off the lights he couldn't see. The next morning, when little sister was brushing her teeth, I turned the tap off. Saving waters helps us save the polar bears, I said. After school, my friends and I collected cans, bottles, newspapers and then we took them to the recycling center. We put the money we earned in a big jar to give to a charity called We Love Polar Bears. So sometimes you can collect recyclables. And look this guy saying, okay, I'll weigh all your things and I'll give you money for the things that you're recycling. The next day was Earth Day. Our whole class went to the park to plant trees. Trees are good for the earth. They help suck up bath, bad stuff into the air. So again, next week we're gonna do some planting. So I really hope you plant next week and get organized for it so that you can help our earth. It's hard work. Come on guys, I said, do it for the earth and for the polar bears. Our teacher said, I think you need to dig smaller holes. I think you're right, I think that's too deep. He's funny, that little critter. We made signs that said, Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recycle, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's easy to do, cause your world is my world and my world is your world. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's easy to do. That reminds everyone that they can help. That night, I couldn't sleep, so I went to the kitchen for a snack. Then I saw a little sign that said, climate control. That's it, I yelled. I know how to save the polar bears. I have to change the climate. Hmm, let's see what happens. The next morning, I got right to work. I made a list just like mom would do. Next, I drew up a plan, just like my dad does. Little sister helped me collect everything on the list. The most important thing was ice. We needed lots of ice. I put all the parts together. So he's got a bucket with ice and an umbrella and a fan, it looks like. What is it, Mom asked. It's a climate control machine, I answered. It will cool down the earth and save the polar bears. How does it work? asked mom. Well, I said, the fan blows air over the ice and makes the earth's air cooler and keeps the ice at the North Pole from melting and that will save the polar bears. I put a thermometer on the top. I waited for the climate control machine to start working, but my ice kept melting so I had to borrow ice from everyone in the neighborhood. I worked very hard all day long but the temperature just stayed the same. Finally, after it became dark, it got colder. Hooray! 
But the next morning, oh no, the temperature went back up. The climate control machine doesn't work, I said. It will never save the polar bears. That's not true, said Dad, because of what we learned. I turn off my computer at night. Little sister turns off the water when she brushes her teeth. And we all turn off the lights when we leave a room. Then Dad added, you and your friends collected bottles and cans and newspapers to recycle. You also planted trees for fresh, clean air. That made me think. Look, he's thinking. These are the things he's remembering when he's thinking. Wow, I said. We are all climate control machines because everything we do can help save the earth. Don't forget the polar bears. The end. So it's true, little, Cur little Curtis said, we all can help, we can all contribute. So remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We'll sing one more song and then we're gonna start our art. Okay. We recycle what we use, separate things and you should too. Glass and paper, plastic tin, go into the recycling bin. We must start now, we can't wait, quick or it will be too late. All right, so we have to save our planet. So guess what we're gonna do today for art? So much fun. Come and see. So I've got some things to show you. Look what I have. So you, me, oops, sound check. You need a balloon. But before you blow, blow up the balloon, you need some glue. So I put some white glue in this container, and it's a big container, but it's too thick. So I want your mom or dad to do this, not you. And you're gonna add some water. Get your, get your um, glue, you're gonna just mix it, mix it, mix it. Because guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make the world this is going to take two days. This is not fast. It's a little bit gucky, so make sure you roll up your sleeves. So look, this is called paper mache. I bet when your mom and dad were little, they probably did paper mache. So see how it's really, so even probably is still a little bit thick. I could probably make it a little bit thinner. It doesn't have to be. You can also use, um, if you don't have white glue, you can mix flour and water, a third of a cup of flour to probably two thirds of a cup of flour. Sorry, a third of a cup of flour to two thirds of water. So then, that looks pretty good. What you're gonna do is if you have newspaper, I have newspaper, the first thing you're gonna do, so I tore it. I tore it and I just, so if you have a newspaper, you're just gonna tore it into, tear it into sheets. If you don't, you might have newsprint. You're gonna just tear it and put them in strips like this. So before we um, do the colors of the earth, we're just gonna cover the balloon. So that's gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna put the newspaper in here. I'm gonna actually put this over here, like this. And then I'm gonna put the balloon on a tray because it gets really sloppy. So pull up your sleeves a little bit. And then just one at a time, watch. You have to get this soaking wet. So you probably need a grown up to help you. And you just, so it drips, you just spread it on. So guess what? When we're done, we cannot um, see the balloon at all. So I'm just gonna cover this all like this. going to take a few minutes so I hope you're patient. So I'm um, going to tell you you might as well turn it off or do you want to watch me do it and you can do it at the same time. I don't know. What do you think? So it's gooey. It's okay as long as you're sitting at the table it's going to make a bit of a mess. So I think I'm gonna um, cover it with um, the newspaper 
I'm gonna turn off the video and when it's covered, then we're gonna turn it back on and show you what to do next.